Here's hoping you'll never have to, but just in case, let's talk about changing a flat tire. Make sure you're parked on a firm, level surface safely away from traffic. Avoid ice or slippery areas. Also, make sure the hazard lights are on, the vehicle is in park, the ignition is off, and the parking brake is fully set. There should be no one in the vehicle. If equipped, the scissor type jack and tire changing tools are located under the rear cargo floor. The spare tire is stowed underneath the rear of the vehicle and is held in place by a cable winch mechanism. Fit the jack handle extension over the drive nut located in the rear cargo area inside the vehicle. Use the lug wrench to rotate the nut counterclockwise until the spare is on the ground with enough slack in the cable to allow you to pull the tire out from under the vehicle. When the spare is clear, remove the knob or plastic molded nut from the retainer at the end of the cable and pull it through the center of the wheel. Blocking both the front and rear of the wheel diagonally opposite of the jacking position is also a good idea. If changing the right front tire, block the left rear tire. If your wheel bolts are covered by a center cap, you'll have to remove it by using the included flathead screwdriver or the wheel bolt wrench to carefully pry it off. Now loosen, but do not remove, the wheel lug bolts by turning them counterclockwise one turn while the wheel is still on the ground. The front and rear jacking locations are indicated by the triangular lift position indicators located on the side of the vehicle. Do not raise the vehicle until you are sure the jack is fully engaged. Now you're ready to raise the vehicle by turning the jack screw clockwise. Raise the vehicle only until the tire just clears the surface. Remember, minimum tire lift provides maximum stability. Okay, now go ahead and remove the lug bolts and wheel. Position the spare tire on the vehicle with the valve stem facing out. The vehicle could be damaged if the spare tire is mounted incorrectly. Reinstall the lug bolts and lightly tighten them clockwise. Now you can lower the vehicle by turning the jack screw counterclockwise and remove the jack. Once on the ground, you can finish tightening the lug bolts. Alternate lug bolts until each one has been tightened twice. Maximum effort should be used to tighten the lug bolts. It's always a good idea to have the tightness checked with a torque wrench by an authorized dealer or at a service station. Now winch the cable into storage position and safely stow the flat tire. Secure the jack and tools in their proper locations and you're ready to go. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.